What's good, y'all? So today's challenge is to write an original song. What's the catch here? I literally have zero musical talent. I mean, I've never taken a single music class, single choir class, zero band class. I'm basically starting from complete scratch. I've tried to write songs in the past, but never like, it, I just could never put anything together and it just was bad. But it's always been something that I wanted to do. I have found notebooks that I've had from way back high school, middle school age, and I'd write down on a bucket list of things that I really wanted to accomplish in life. And on, on a lot of those lists, it's always like write a song. I just love music. I feel things sometimes that are really hard to express uh, with just words alone. So I feel like writing a song really helps kind of express those feelings. I've been going through something recently that's a little bit difficult to process. And I think writing a song will help me just deal with the emotions a little better. And it's a good way to kind of get everything out. So I thought, it. let's make this uh, in a 100% series episode, writing a song with zero musical talent. Like I said, this is gonna be difficult. I have no experience whatsoever. Um, all right, buddy. I don't understand music theory very well, and it's like anything that has to do with like time signature, like notes and stuff. Uh, I also have a terrible singing voice. We'll just we'll just try and see what happens. It can't be that bad, can it? I'm starting to look like an apology video. Oh wait, I'm missing something. Toxic gossip train. <laughs> If you know, you know for that one. I'm not gonna ask for any help. I'm just gonna do this all for my own ability, my own research. I'm not even gonna do a lot of research. The main thing is I'm just gonna find a, a free beat. I'm just gonna write some lyrics to it and see see how it goes. I'm very scared to like put myself out there like that because I know it's gonna sound bad. You know what, let's just see. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta take a leap of faith and maybe it won't be so bad. I think it's time to face my fears and finally turn that idea that has been on my notebook for years into a reality. Let's go. So then it was time to start writing some lyrics. I'm very blessed in the fact that I think the one skill that I have that helps this process out is my creativity. The lines would just come to me in the most random of moments. Like I can think of this one line that came to me when I was at the urinal of the coffee shop. And it was just like that. Like I'd just be going throughout my day and I'd just get these random ideas of these random lines. And then the song just got put together after that. So I came to the Starbucks because it was the only coffee shop that's open kind of late. I just had the urge to leave the house and as I'm driving, I get the urge to write a little more of the song. I just start listening to it in the car and that allows me to sing full blast because I don't really want to do that at home. I don't want to bother anyone and I'm still not confident enough to just sing. But when I'm in the car and no one's here, I can just let it rip and no one can hear me, which is sick. So yeah, I pulled up to the Starbucks. I was like, I need to write some of this shit down. Um, and we made a lot of progress and my god like i'm not a songwriter at all i'm not gonna sit here and tell y'all that like i'm some lyrical genius but i don't know i really like it i'm not gonna lie this this is it's fire i'm <laughs> not gonna lie bro the bars are kind of fire i don't know if it's just me i don't know y'all probably gonna think it sucks because like i don't understand uh, music theory i'm not gonna lie what i have so far like I'm just sitting there in the Starbucks writing these lines and I like go through it in my head. I didn't get to sing it out loud until I was in here. I think it's good and I'm actually proud of it, uh, of what it is so far. And there's still, I still got one more verse to write and I want to kind of alternate the, the chorus, the second chorus. If I took, if I took like singing lessons and learn more about music theory, the thing is I don't have like a passion for like songwriting. The only reason I'm doing this is because you know the, the the emotions that I feel for for this girl are so strong that just simply texting I love you or I feel this way like it's just not enough for now just thinking about this project I'm proud of myself uh, it's also helping me deal with the emotions right now in a very healthy way as well so which I think is good Wow and there it is the song is written this first time I just performed it for myself here in the car with the, playing through the speakers for the first time clean start to finish took a couple of tries but I think I'm really happy with it I'm not gonna sit here and claim that it's some sort of lyrical masterpiece that I have some sort of untapped musical talent because I don't really know I know for sure like my, my voice can use some work I could take some lessons and like if I wanted to pursue this I could take some lessons and you know improve on that the point of the video I had, you know, I have this, I had this idea. I've, I've written it down in many notebooks and, and many to-do lists to, to make a song once in my life. And it was never specified that it had to be a good song. I just needed 
I just wanted to be able to use my creativity to be able to create a song something that would be able to help me express my feelings and I think I absolutely nailed that with this song will I do this again maybe not I just wanted to just like a little side quest I wanted to do and uh, hope you guys enjoyed if you ever have a really ambitious project idea that kind of scares you a bit and you're afraid to start because you think it's gonna be bad all you can do is just start and see where it goes I feel like I have like stopped myself from doing amazing things because I was scared that it was gonna turn out to be bad that sucks. That's a, that's a kind of a shitty way to, to for me to live my life because I'll never know if I have, you know, ability or talent in certain things, or, and I'll never know if like I was meant for certain things. You know, so this is more just me trying to get out of my shell, trying to be more courageous, and and stop just leaving projects on my notebook and actually start putting them out there and creating. So I had some friends react to the song before I posted it, just in case. It was complete garbage and I was just gonna get completely roasted. I wanted them to be completely honest to me and to my surprise they actually liked it. I'm gonna show these guys the song. <laughs> bravo! Bravo Magistico! Bravo. Let's go! Be honest. That's, that's actually that's, that's actually, actually pretty, pretty dope. dope. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty dope. Dude. Sick. Like, honestly, oh. like, I like the beat. I like your flow. And without further ado, here is Somber Solstice by yours truly. I don't remember this part of the script, though I read it a thousand times. Couple of pages that I must have skipped. Part of the story that I didn't like. I know it's for the best. Doesn't make it hurt any less. Now I'm here missing her voice. But on the longest day of the year. We came across my greatest fear She said we need a break I don't wanna be awake I just wanna escape the heartache Don't do no drugs, no drinking So I'll just sit here thinking Wishing you were here so I could lose this shitty feeling You said it's temporary Can't help but feeling wary I'll be strong for you, I know that this is necessary Can't help my somber solstice, just let me reinforce this My love, I swear the plan is still that you will be my missus It would be a blessing to be by your side Hope that our worlds will realign But now I'm here missing your eyes and the longest day of the year Turned to the longest night I fear She said we need a break, baby, for you away I just wanna sedate and feel no pain can take this daily torment, it's karma, I deserve it For my past, it's a contrast, I really hope it's worth it They say that hope kills healing but I can't shake this feeling That one day we'll be okay and there'll be no more grieving Can't help my somber solstice Took tons of guts to post this I hope whatever happens that you find peace and contentment So that was it. I think all in all, it's it's obvious that I was not meant to be a singer. But hey, I don't do, I don't do too bad in the lyric department. So this is a fun little project. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I hope this inspires you guys to also just try your your craziest ideas that you have in that notebook. Just just try. The, like the worst you could do is fall on your face. And you know what you do when that happens? You get back up. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.